Verte kommun nu kaska er lispål, ikke grunn jo himlien og nirig, og om også hurte janne løs hulvån, og så enn med vunnu inn og fråsje dukes, lesh en halla sannunut påvel, og enn med nu inn og skine le linfere lispål var vi lise kærdjeg. Janel was a proud Lisbon man, who worked tirelessly all his life to promote his native parish and its people. This documentary celebrates Janel's life, with first-hand accounts from his friends, neighbours and collaborators whose lives he's touched, and who remember him fondly as they kindly share special memories of him with us in his honour and memory. Selig Janel in Edek Fahishi, be Mary Grainy Mavam, agus Janel O'Sullivan a Red. Agus Kahar Visa Klaunaka. Drastil Janel Erskol Klunkhoro, O Nedix Chukuk and Nedix Chukunai. Agus an Eakshin Hashe Kupli Blades of Vanskol, Namrahere, Sadangan. Sararanche Stigonskol, Hundola Feramor, the Erem of Winter, Ebarkanir. Janel married Mary Lynch from Garfany in 1955 and emigrated to England in 1960, where he worked successfully in construction in the London area for five years. Returning home to his native Lisbon with his wife and three children, Anne, Johnny, and Tommy, in the autumn of 1972. Ni tushke dil Janel er Lisbon, na gor hum she efe ni se na muintre se froste, ga har hele kommun lukla skael. Agus de land she er ik se heru gud dilish donach er son nesse an fabel gud ie vas an trach in edik se hokwa hokt. Se chuv ma she, skirte o vile be muintre heen. A green girl, a Janelle or Sullivan. We are never had to say Janelle, like a soda or so. We are never had to go to Janelle, nor near a fucking own Han, son of this ball. We had never been known. I guess we were like a leg on a in or we were all. Um, big dollar go all the way, we sure. Amazing. Amazing. I guess, we have to go to the country. We have to go to the country. We have to go to the country. We have to go to the We have to go to the We to the We to the We to he was, a, he, he was just natural, like yourself, about. He, he was a great man for uh, for getting things done and things getting going. Um, the run, for instance, uh, in the early years, we went on the run many and many years. In the early years, John L. would be organising for the run. September, October, he'd be, we'd be painting flags or doing um, the old, um, what they like call it, the, 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 oh, the, 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 the suits. All that kind of thing would be starting at that. And then the FCA, he was involved, where he got that from, I don't know. Mm. But he was very involved in the FCA. The war had finished, of course, some years before that. Yes. And um, John had all the young lads in this hall. Uh, and he made a good job of us. I mean, it was a bit of smartness uh, yes. with, the, uh, with the guns and um, all that. And mm. we had our marching we used to meet in the hall in this ball. John L very soon became a corporal and uh, he became a sergeant in a very short time and later on he was commissioned uh, an officer really? and we went on summer camps under his command down to Yall and Ballyhaig and Cork but John was always the leader at the head and he had the strength, of course, and we had to obey his orders. <laughs> and he was a bit smart on us, even though we were uh, yes. good friends and all mm. the small lads. Okay. I don't know how many was left, Seamus yeah. Devan, Donald yeah. Levitt, Johnny Bowler, yeah. who else, I don't know, there's not too many of them left. 
And you had a, just, you mentioned that story when you were returning from one of those outings and you called to God in the door. Oh yes, yes, that was not unusual for us to do anyway. Yeah. <laughs> but on this particular occasion, we were in Ballydon Lee at the firing range. We'd often be in there on a the, the Sunday up uh, getting uh, practice. And then uh, we were in the army lorry coming home, the whole gang of us. Don't know how the good gang anyway. And we went into Gary, into Joe's. John was given a pound for refreshments for the lads on the way home. They went into Joe anyway, and he called for 24 pints and a glass of water for Tom Day. <laughs> Poor Tom didn't drink it all, you see. And just think of it, that there were 24 pints. I don't know how many were there. There could have been 20 of us. But you get 24 pints of Guinness for a pound in them days. For many Sunday. And ordinary people from this ball, they went in the bus on Sunday. I know that very many of them around now that remember going to a um, place like Baradoff and down to the Black Valley and Sneem and Nakanoor and Abbey Dorney. We'd have a bus, CAE bus, the tug of war team. Your father would have been one of the tug of war team. Uh, and we would go to the sports meetings. And John would be the organiser, he was head and tail of it. And for myself, as I progressed along in the old cycling world, John Hill was always by my side and he always supported me. And uh, later on, when uh, I won the Ross and all that, and John Hill organised a big homecoming for me and the Kerry team of the time at Lisbon. John was the organiser. And later on, still, he helped to organise funds to send me to Melbourne to the Olympics in '56. And indeed, when I came home, John had a big homecoming organised in Lisbon. Bonfires lighting everywhere and flags flying, and he had the band out from England. He, he, that's, that was his way. He done something at the time. He built his his, his cow house half a mile away from the dwelling house, which was a brilliant idea. He built his farmhouse for the cows in the middle of the land, rather than bringing the cows to the house. And I would say he was probably one of the first in West Kerry to have silage. Everybody thought he was mad. Dug a hole in the ground in the middle of it. And he was involved with the grasso you mentioned to me. Indeed he was, very much so. Not alone was he involved in organising the grotto, but like the rest of us, he had the pick and shovel, big crowds there in the evening. There was no JCBs or Hymax. Started digging earth and farmers, they were all very good from the parish, drawing earth there with their horse and car. And the Kerry stones were found in every field in Lisboa and Menard. And John L was very much to the fore trying to get everyone and get notes in for the priest at Mass on Sunday, telling people, anyone that saw Kerry Stone, to make sure that they put it to one side, and when they were going to the creamery in the morning to put it in the car and leave it at the church. The, the, the pipe coming down from Tom Connors. John was very involved in that. Indeed he was. It was uh, a creative project, wasn't it? He was, it was, yeah. it was. The parish was it. <laughs> that he had your eye on. Oh, uh, yes, yes, yes. Tashil Marwin is in Bertica. Amen. But uh, yes, we were going we were going to inch the two of us to meet these two girls. And we had a couple of pint in Joe's before we went over the course. And uh, after leaving Gary anyway, I was pretty well handy at the cycling at that time. And John L of course down by the post by as we call it by Paddy Fitz is there. John has said, come on you bugger, you think you can cycle? This was a moonlight night, you know, no lights of us, except we had good eyesight then on the road. And we got, I couldn't hold on to John L. He disappeared in the distance in front of me. But when I got down to one or turn, he was climbing out <laughs> from inside the ditch. He wasn't able to take the turn. On <laughs> far both. But finished going to inch anywhere. We had to wait for another night. Obviously, to drown the sorrows, we had to walk up on the John's bicycle. It was his sister's bride, his bicycle, oh. a new bike, and for the low one buckled up. 
And he said, Bridie, it'd kill him because Bridie was home from England and she bought a new bicycle. And John got it to go tinge to the night out, but he made a loop on the bicycle. But uh, the run, we'd be getting ready for the run, and as uh, John composed uh, uh, several verses, but uh, I, I, I'll do my best if I can memorize, I think I might. On a Sunday in December, the year of 53, a meeting it took place at the bridge at half past three. I wondered what it was all about, with an inquiry I found out. But the boys were preparing for their annual walk around. They talked for long and then at last they said they had 23. Two accordion players, a drummer and a flag to add more glee. They agreed to stop from Hexons in the middle of Lisbon. And then go on to Golanbjog and finish at Barnog. Say in Stephen's day at last did come, but at last was very wet. And the boys they came in ones and twos, for the full gang had met. The trouble then it all began, that they had no music box. But the boys agreed to purchase one for two pounds seven and six. It was well past ten o'clock before the gang pulled out. And marching orders were issued then as the hill we struck out. Mm -hmm. We done go on Bjog and Boher Brack, Lace Darrigan and Reen Wee. And when the corks we struck across, sure we were wet above our knees. Ah, that. <laughs> Very good. Yeah, yeah. That, 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 of course, wasn't the only one of John's compositions. I, I, I wouldn't know him, and I think I just learned them from him just by, I don't think he ever wrote them down for mm. me. I don't know if there are any copies anywhere. Mm. Or, well, he, he done one of the grotto and the church as well. Can you recite uh, like a verse or two of that? In 54, the year of flooding, the year two that Kerry lost the crown, the Lisbon church was renovated by the noble people near Dingletown. It all began when they designed a grotto, but that really happened in 53, and Bishop Minehin of the Kerry Diocese and Corpus Christi did bless that shrine. To repair the, to repair the church, Canon Lane was anxious if he got the parish to back him out. So he hired on Blanchfield a man of practice to draw up some plans that were considered sound. He, Tom Fitz, the local tradesman, was placed in charge to put into practice what Blanchfield wanted to put up the pillars, the roof and arch. Um, I don't okay, know, but anyway, there, there was a bit of it then, how they drew the sand and brought the seeds from Causeway. Yes. And on the Sunday of the opening, the bishop, the, and John's verses, I, I, I just can't remember it, to see the canon beside the bishop at the altar side, the bugle sounded, which was the bugle at the consecration yes, uh, yeah, uh, yeah. army. The bugle sounded, all women fainted, should they thought was the Lord above it. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to sing you a song that was written by my father uh, about the renovation of the church in Lisboa in 1954. Now, it was never written down, and we're very lucky. Um, and honoured that uh, Paddy Fitz uh, gave us a transcript from his memories, the lyrics of the song, and I have them in front of me here, and I'd like to sing you this song. It is called the Lisboa Church Song. In 1954, the year of flooding, the year to the carry lost the crown. The church in Lisboa was renovated by the people near dear Lingle Town. They began by designing a grotto they unveiled in the year 53. And Bishop Minahan's approval did follow when he blessed it on Corpus Christi. Those days in our hearts we will cherish contented although we were poor and the songs that were sung in the days we were young 
in the parish they called us home. Cannon lion to repair the church was eager for the parish to back him out. So he hired Blanchfield, a man of practice, to draw up some plans he thought sound. Local tradesman Tom Fitz was appointed in charge of all the works that were planned, erecting the roof, the arch and pillars, while extending to give them more room. Those days in our hearts we will cherish, contented although we were poor. And the songs that were sung in the days we were young, in the parish they called us home. Three cheers to the people of the parish Who drew sand from the Bailin Canal And brought all the seeds from Causeway This noble deed will live for long Led by Tom Fitz as their foreman His son Pardeen and Jimmy Fitz Tim Kane, Mike Connor and Dennis Griffin and my fits but to mention a few Those days in our hearts we will cherish Contented although we were poor And the songs that were sung In the days we were young In the parish they called us home To see the cannon beside the bishop Right there at the altar side when the divine sound was heard from the bugle, all women they fainted and cried. Sure they thought that the Lord had come down then from heaven above to this place to be with the people of the parish of sweet Let's Fall in 54. Those days in our hearts we will cherish Contented although we were poor And the songs that were sung In the days we were young In the parish they called us home And the songs that were sung In the days we were young In the parish they called sweetless home What's all your time, my mom? Kathleen Banicha Hasig, no Kathleen Hulwan, no Harinador, no Hochus. I guess I'm going to have to be a Bartlin Rish in Liana. I find you're all trapped. I guess Skiana Janela, who can keen it in. Taquini got so doige, Janel, nothing. And the Queen of Gummer Janel, be shem em wrong keen of them. The true book leer with true Kalini strong keen. Scott Hunkore shall dish no fair. Scott Hunkore. I guess. The Queen of Shear or Lahem to Scully, Queen of Queen of Hagutter Janel. Oh, Anna Queen of Janelicum. Mar, they should and tis fair some wrong. Oh, Vishana Christopher. Marcus, I knew it can. It's Queen of Law on Anna Vishana, Anna Vile or Stere. Sure, of course, they stare. It's a screen of Law on Vi and March to get it breher or dot you. Gregorian <laughs> 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 Vi ser det frivilliga om så solen kan ha varit en malukan som att ha rein vill det ser nämligen äckligt. Och så har ni knusat hon till hon dagskall skall man ärda och skall hon kära. Och 
agus diana he began this the montori scheme sha agus ge shano suluan ka hare and privilege in the school in the sport agus maraharla ta kegelahna valik janel eh aun sakhnu sakson och vorvorde valik shano gad shano suluan agus skill to brahiet it is royal agus virle agus ta town ga elnon agus Hugus <laughs> Lagger <laughs> Agus har an rot kien an an nolig in the ni augsen agus har es en triu hoi. Sin en skil son an pi chan agus an lundu salas kivin sha ta an skrin oirecht cho becht agus cho crin a she rihilerger garson er muli behe. Agus well a sir man an ignation de Janel Ryan live. In the queen in tago ter komas agrocha an Janel inish odo wege. An gracho an kirud. Then, on Sharpe, I was then on the AFA. We share tap on the AFA. On FCA, we share tap. On common pele, we share tap. I guess you'd share a lot of the Sharpe of the Kurbach literature. I guess we tap. Tap to one's coil, but we share a military doing. Here, no, we can share a military doing. So, I wish to target the value of it. Because on Sharpe, yes, yeah. I guess we share more agency and so that we get it, get laid in. When manure, I guess, seed, I guess, and the head water to fair boring. I guess we share agency deal the the rabbits. We are the, the rabbit trade like it was a big commercial trade. The rabbits are plentiful, they were sitting about things like for food. And when nobody had no money, the rabbit money was fierce and party for the pocket money. And what the lads with the pain support and the bank to the rabbit money that was given to go. Mm. And he was here, and that's where we sell the rabbits to the lapis near. I guess it's on Dagrick Shea, he gave word the Fadi Fitz now, you know, Craig Shea. I guess Shea, no, the way Fadi Fitz and last time. We have more than Draw the Taddy here, the years. I guess we have CBS band of. Oh, I was being born fire, I was the chastely processionalist, the, with the turf, the side of the turf, part of the top of the pipes, and the parade, <coughs> and there was the lorry anyway, and the side of the, and I still remember the side of the lorry, and for anyone to make a speech, you are the public that time, you are the carry team, last out in team, and all their followers, and all the rest, and the big crowd, it was the front of Christians, and John then gave a mighty speech. And then here, <coughs> a tricolour, which they were just troubled when the, the when the Rasan went across the border, there was trouble because they were carrying the tricolour down the wrist. And the Kerry team were uh, victimised because they had the green goals. And they fought their way back. And they recaptured <coughs> one flag anyway. And in the scuffle to recapture the flag, the staff that broken. And John May, I can still see him, you know, because he waved the, the flag and said with the broken staff. <laughs> and he made a resounding speech. It was a real. And he finished off anywhere with a triumphal speech from the Green Glens of Anthem to Port McGee. And he finished off with three cheers, which we would have three cheers. Hip, hip, hurry, hurry. <laughs> and it was a resounding three cheers. And I can still see him said the Lord, you know, that was. Mm -hmm. Was a mighty life, like. Anything that helped the parish, uh, 
you couldn't get a better organizer or a better community man. And the day before he left for England, Canon Ryan came out in the author on a Sunday and uh, mentioned his card in my name and told the congregation how sorry he was to see Johnny leaving the parish. I never in my life had a mention like that from the author about anybody. But he was a wonderful organizer. Queenie uh, Hagutsa and John Elsha. in a couple of years, I guess, Dimitri moved to Swasa Chan Wahar. I guess, Stack Goody and Dang and Marshin, I guess, we are not a glut and started to go on the shot at us. Good beer, he shot it. Well, um, Maradin to Shin, the Screek Channel, uh, Alt Wood Wine, Gun Lake Shay, Moonlight Rider. I guess couldn't say she's nor a in a couple. I located the horses on my field, he said, and I came to the local village meeting place, Maratar Artigut, known as the bridge. And we got a group of young men eager and willing to drive those horses to the pound at Dingle, about five miles away. Now to get to Dingle and on to the Sheridans, we had to make plans. We got some ropes and bridles, and as the horses were reasonably tame, we put the harness on some of them. And Shining Grod was selected as the outrider uh, to lead the way. Is that true? We always talk about We are now. We had to make as little noise as possible and to keep to the back roads along the foot of the mountain. It was a beautiful moonlight night, and looking at the horses and riders and loose horses, it could easily remind me of a Wild West film. That's well described, isn't it? So, what do you recall from Dingle then, uh, Sean? When, we, when you landed in Dingle? We got to Dingle and going down, we went down John Street, down Swadorn. Yeah. Right. Yes. I guess she's good in. Good in. Pona. We was tamed away. I was. We shared the colour. We shared my colour. No, we were going around. Yeah. I guess. You remember that night, Johnny? I remember that night, all right, yeah. What I do you recall? Know. Well, just the crowd, the lads that was down at the bridge. John L. I suppose he's sent down for him, maybe. Now I would do over to take him out of the field of oats. They were in the field of oats, yeah. And were there uh, many horses there? I'd say there'd be about 20 or more, maybe. Yes. 20 anyway. Yeah. Gathered them up to the road above. Was, that, we, was it difficult to do that? Well, difficult enough. We were jabbing up all the mics there. Of course, you were all. We were all there, you see. You were, were a all, big gang of us. Yes, and you had, uh -huh. you had a lot of experience of, of horses, you Ah, said. we had, you see. We yeah. had. My servant Thomas Rick went up on one till <laughs> he took us into Dingle anyway. Go Two of us together up on one. <laughs> you picked him out? <laughs> we did. <laughs> and some of them no joke, they'd kick you. Did anybody see you going down John Street? Oh, the carry man seen the sights that. What did he say? He said the flight into the Egypt. We are now a good Sir Frank and John L. and Tia Tafi Habitable. Kadir the Queen is Tushka Tagots and Jan Ella the Hyde. Well, a stalker about Kunkidur, a woolless slash story with a Moluk Shaska shot, Vimar Tresh, Clefe Ish, a Wokund, a woolless slash Mar Vimar Kalura. I was a ledge firm biog of Yon Le Hatta, a very honest brilliant father. I was in the 
Imer Kaj, Bishe, Via Kri Sakaj, Agus Bishe Kaintum, a fag Copenom, only his son, Agus Yinche, Yinche, and he had done. Anna privileged a fat can be kindly, more coolus, alarm, the inner kind, Macorson, so Mariano, Johnny, Lagus, Farron, Spread, Lagus, Fallis, Paul, Hosni, the Gimmert, Le. On the Alice, we Janel, Eganus, we Shemar Ronor, we Shemar Cahiro Custodium, Thompson, we Shemar Banistor, we Shedian Cahiro, August Faruntuk, Kunroda, Agru, Agru, August Nor Hosni, and Louis, we Vismar Sob, August, we see Ganus Erum Kaj, Banirva Kajivanig. Agus Kakayan Tom will on Fudden Ege Emert. We share all on Frank, get that ball. Agus Thracian Claire, Lokiana, Frank, do you bring the ball with you? We go on to Korea. Agus Kreeniman son, a Shako She, Nora Vomer on Keel Cray of Rave, or Fenless Paul, who's a guy on his son. Agus we share ball away. And so long time, huge the van. And by the store, as far as we get a spoil, Reef. What's your abiding memory of Janel? Uh, I remember Janel, I suppose, nearly from the early 70s before I really got involved in football, you know. And I used to do bits of work with him, like, you know, and he was a very genuine guy, like, you know, everything he did or he took on. It had to be just spot on, kind of, you know. But, um, and the years then that he took over chairman of the West Kerry board, and I, it was way back in the 40s, I think the last county championships came to West Kerry, right. like, and uh, I happened to be working with John Isle at the time, anyway, and you had quite a number of good players. I was one of the selectors, I was the list ball selector, we'd say Paddy Healy from Castle Gregory. The Castle Gregory selector, Paddy O'Shea from Mona Scall, you know, Paddy O'Shea himself was the Gaelic selector, I suppose. But uh, that was it anyway, and uh, he had everything just done to the tea, like. And so long to Father Jim Downey, Gurmahagut the Harris of the Bartlin. We blend to Mahagut Marhe Prinichli Sport. Yeah. Oh, we are Sarogum, we land on the Shul, Elisbol, near the Park Pelle. Near the end, Halle, near the end, Ali. I guess we two part of clean, a screen lump to a very chuckle clochelin, national lany. Paddock chuckle, Yenchen lany, to Gideon Park Pillar, egg a guan the clocker. Sure. I guess the screen got hooked two buns, hooked two buns in his hood. Sure, sure. The Hini er Janel, Lenalinchin. We had to rewind the chuckle's ball. And I gave the wiring to John Hill. I guess John Sean saw over in the wiring. I guess then we alarm. I regret like the value. I guess Queen Emer. It would be good if we had a competition for the band who was who was carrying. Exactly. I guess. I guess we were we were in conversation the football is for. All the bigger father. And so the match to Pat Begley. Tar all of the gapel. Irim roar lele spol. A hill crew agus kailil. Agus tar gul moran diel te ger sonum froshte agus e bart kisht CLG lele spol. Your recollections of of Janel, having uh, worked with him. Yeah, in 1975, Janel took over as chairman of the club with Colin as secretary, myself as treasurer. I mean, he was a brilliant organizer. Great man to think away the raising funds for the club like. And I mean he did everything for the parish. And the, the club was really got off the ground when John Lynn took over, like. And uh, I mean I suppose one of his proudest moments was when we got the club of the year in Dublin. And the, the presentation was made by Jim Jim Tunney, the minister at the time, and John Lynn accepted it on behalf of the club. Oh he was brilliant for organising. Yeah. And, he put his heart and soul into everything, like, you know, the treasurer, like, and I got to John Hill to the house, he did, he did everything written down, everything was 
spot on, like. Yes. I mean, he was brilliant to come to it, like, yeah. you know. And also, Roberti gave us the bully to, like, for, for our home games. And I think that's when we realised the value of home venue, like. And I had little doubt that from there, the, the idea of our own pitch came from, like. Mm. Yeah. And even after just the, the bully, when we went about purchasing a pitch, like, but we didn't think the location was suitable. Mm. Yes. So, yes. That's, there's no doubt that's where the idea that the football field came from. Yes. I suppose he was our first trader. He was. He was. Well, I, Shemus Murphy trained us all right in the beginning. Like, did so he? He did, yeah, Shemus trained us. Right. But John Lyle was the, probably the next trainer. Yes. Perfect. And when we had one player all right, it was to show up late for a lot of games. Yes. We don't know where he used to be based before the game. <laughs> but John Lyle made the statement one day. I wonder, he said, would we ever see the day we'd be able to leave that full out flying? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure you, you would agree that it's appropriate that uh, the hall should be called after him. Oh, there's no doubt about that. I'm delighted anyway, yes. that, yes. in memory of John L, that that's something up on the pitch to, uh, to remember him like. Yes. How are you doing? I'm not too bad. So long to my mother, Benny Yaragain, my mother and I left her here while I know who was. Could they have the queen here, John L? I was a Scottish girl, and 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 I was a we come a little day in a shul, my yellow hikati, femur winter now, Sunger parched than than glehead, then a castu tikati, agasolar tikati. As we couple dinner, agas has to go her tikati a haru, agas vested to their dinner idea, agas dinner shogs and dinner shoot, pesh gale, net in the dollar, with famous jamel down tikati. Rehan Clegan check if Trump by Stegas be papier and that one again, John. I like a succession to my letter, Kerem Hyon. A fin papier filed fluch, a false, he has to go my window. Axon son can doubt. Did a clear, quick and boy to stare, and was well at the queen teller. I guess been a. I guess talking killed a rave near of a local in air as John. We shall not host. Fad. I guess we some host, I guess the Kiri get a father we team from Peter in the dust. I guess Chesha Clay Kulu with a mach as far can croak. I guess she's a stoke, how could you can I remember her in Shakespeare? I guess Metro, I guess can I knock her? Fad. I guess we shall creep this to Fad me. We were a fad narrative. Where if I be a hrund. Near of Shadow Hawk, the Hoyt's lady, Rimish Cretan Head and the Reached. Monomepha at Vowel, Coot Pumit no Coot Jura, a Behan Vowel. Ach, Cap Cuddles and him already, like after a fain, Gagahadish and Tadaka the Yale. I guess Devna and Yaleadish, Cuddica. Ach, and Vlensha in Jan El Real, to share Mona Neil for you. On Tadigat, when you had Vowel, no could fit the enim shach so had to him to care the wartens. As we made over the vine, I guess near in share, I guess near could have enim shach so had to. I guess near raw host a visha. Nina Hona. Nina Hona. Martin does not have it over the. A dowry we get a spoil of a hair. Sure. I was queen of inviting down it should boil a lish at a stride who was from that clear. I was near Lowshedham. Near Lowshedham could count Tommy fat on the action. Ach, a stock of rod of wine. A heinig as real janel na and fee on the action we doubled and a wheel if it's a club. Sure. I was near Voxhair of ID. Oh, near ye. Then to a fast a good creek of mech and had a iron new in the yig. Oh, can doubt. Marvi Hri Vichri 
Det kommer nog att klaska i ett cykel plus på väl. Då åt. Men det var det. Ta man det för hjärtat. Snart lägger det här. Kör bara för att röra. Agus och Salem inis ta Jerry Murphy och kommer fälla en dänge. Agus vi Jerry bars le Janel snart har kvar det. Well vi är rätt och vi är glada för en orod. Agus vi är så parisiers med hen. Vi John Bamber är gärna så fast man man kan hela kan bort i rätt. Vi med hen man man runjer en bort. Så kul parisiers med hen. Agus vallar vallar mot Janel. Tack man kan hela kan bort. Agus han är så dyr. Agus vi annars spelar Janel så gör Agus kommer du inte läsa det. Annars blir det. Agus vi är så gärna för mig och Anna var. Men vi ser fler dagar igen i gärna här och nu rätt. Agus sen är ni med oss nu under mark. Han är så gärna bort 83, 82. Agus sen sen har det så gärna 84. Vi får mer kräven kunder än gärna och tre. Då är det hopp blivit. Agus vi vi rabar vi gärna och har sig mot kapten Agus så gärna. Bara så att jag kan inte huxa ora en inspirerad tradition till. Jag skrev om nu när vi är bättre semifinal vi är nu nu till Karo Kanish. Då blir det en stigad drali i en van. Jag ska få mig en av dem. Vi måste kalla det 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 så du är nåt som vi vi tappar på internet så allt som vi måste lära oss är att skriva så du är den kristna av popsduta så jag säger så nåt mig så tapp så är det så det var kommer så är det var just vi på väg till gärna vi nu vi mycket jobb med banestor så kommer det att kunna popsa du du är mycket jobb ta så du inte gång ta ta en tomsus så jag säger så nåt vi lyssnar gott vi vill kalla dig så nåt nu så banestor något så ni är väl så mycket jobb så Yes. I'm so long to Masi Spillan or Hishlan Grire. Today we are calling Janel, and you got to know him during those years, didn't you, Masi? I did. I did. I got to know Janel in the, I suppose, late seventies, early eighties. Norwegia, Kahir the Paul Kiri here. I was we may fan on as last Kahir, and I got to know him very well in the football circles. Very proud Welsh Kerry man. And of course, the great graph of the ball. Yes. Um, very fair in his decisions at board meeting, an outstanding chairman. And whether it was Castle Gregory or the ball ring at the club of Muscari, they got a fair hearing and he dealt with it accordingly. And sure, I suppose most fellows would do a happy most of the time anyway, like, you know. Yes, yes. So, uh, in the late, I suppose, late 83, then uh, I remember he did with a meeting in Dingle or somewhere. and. Uh, he said, look lads, we'll have to put something together to win a county championship. And I, he, he, he picked, uh, I suppose, early 84 then, he picked a very good selection company. But uh, again in 85, they, 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 they achieved the double with, uh, and won back-to-back -back county championships. Right. And I suppose it gave, at the time, the two, the two best players in West Kerry at the time, Pardee, the Art Mersingham and Tommy Doyle, they the went down to Captain Kerry. And it's a great honour. Like every young fellow growing up who likes to play for Kerry, but I suppose to lead them around Crow Park and all that, and they and go up the steps of the hog and stand out there for the summer goya, a big achievement. And I think they can. A lot of that credit goes down to Janel for his time and commitment in those couple of years that they won the two county championships. Well, good meal, my good massy. I'm here in the park in Kinnede, no park ferry Kennedy in on the scar. I guess farum ta tour farum maha. O CLG on the sky. Marata, John Courtney or Violent Tarman, Dan Sheehy or Anna Gap, Agus Lena Hoshta, Shanin Foley or Anna Gap Roma. We'll start here with you, John. Um, thanks for coming here this evening and uh, talking to us about your memories of Janelle. What are your first memories? Well, my first memories of Janelle were back in the mid 70s when he used to bring his two sons, Tommy and Johnny. John, Tommy and Johnny to the local pub down the road here, John Knightley's. They were great musicians, they used to be playing, the, playing for the tourists. And always before the session had finished, John Elwood always have to give a few songs himself. Yes. That was the first, first, first my time I meeting John El. Very good. After that then you, uh, you were involved with the building of the Halla, which is going to yeah. be named after yeah, yeah, John Elwood. Yes, we were myself and my father and we were back there and John El was a regular caller to make sure everything was going in the right direction. 
So we gave a week, we gave a year over a year back there with him, and yes. like that's where I that's where I really say I got to know him probably. Mm. And then you work with him then on the Whiskery board. Yes, he, he was he was chairman of the board for a number of years, and I was the delegate from Onascal. Yeah. Oh, I think it would be it, it would be a great honour to him and his family that the hall be called the John L. O'Sullivan Memorial Hall. Come on. Then you of course got to know John L. in those years. What are your re- recollections of John L.? Well, I came home from America in '76, and of course I was involved with the football straight away, like and. Uh, John L to me was was a great friend, a long friend that I'll never forget. Because I love straight people and John L was a kind of a milestone to that for me. Like I'd be going back there as a delegate probably a little before John got to know him and uh, if something was wrong, he was a great man to get it sorted sooner than later. Like he'd throw himself back in the chair and he'd fix the hat and he might the shtick might be put to the side, lads. He says, We'll have to get this sorted now, he says here tonight. And it would be sad that there'd be arguments and there'd be ups and downs, but he'd have the final say and he'd level that thing out before the night was done. I knew Massachusetts fairly well, but I was lucky enough to go out with West Kerry. I wasn't playing or anything as, as such, but when we got out anywhere, like, we played New England, probably, we went out probably over Friday or Saturday, and we played the pick of Boston and the pick of Springfield, like, and uh, there were shot a couple of players anyway, so I fell in with the boys from Boston anyway, and West Kerry had a good strong panel, and it was a great battle. They were delighted, of course, to see Massachusetts, and my brother-in-laws were very good to them, the Mansells from Cassie Gregory, yeah. Kevin's brothers there, yeah, yes. and uh, if that could help in any way. And, you know, if you're a GAA man or woman, like, you know, if you'd love to see people coming out from home anyway. I will always remember John L as a great friend, a straight talker, and it's been a privilege to have a word about that great man here today. Sean Foley. John L to me, was everything that was great about West Kerry football. He was, as chairman, he was very straight, no missing. Every club got any their rights when they, need, when they were in trouble. Uh, he organised the trip to New York and Boston, and we had a great time. One thing I'll never forget is the speech he made in the State House. He, he, it lasted about 20 minutes, but what a terrific speech. I don't think, no president of the GEA would do as good. Then one thing that stands out in my mind, I suppose I was at the opening of the Lisbon pitch and he, he, he was the proudest man in Ireland that day. It's a, he, he was stand, I remember him standing in the middle of the field and he, he gave his usual speech and, and, and a terrific speech it was. But I remember one thing he said in the end up, as he said, it's funny he says, there's one sad occasion this, this, this week. He said, we, we have lost three great legends of Kerry f- and West Kerry football in the one week. We have Paddy Kendi, Sean Brosnan and Bill Dillon. That's right. So uh, that's one thing that stood out in my mind. It was funny that it was, they, they, they died within a week of each other. But John L was, to me, a great, honest chairman of the West Kerry board. In conclusion, when putting the final touches to this documentary, my good neighbour, Danny Garrett MacGallit from Gaulambiog, called to me unexpectedly one morning in my mum's home in Bohrbrach to share with me this treasure from his archive, which, in his own words, might add to our story, namely a type letter from 1976, which John L. had sent as an SOS to all the sport players late in the football season that year. It reads as follows, with Lispo GA as its heading. Dear Danny, with the position of the Lispo team in the county league so low and so few games left to play, it is essential to get back on the winning trail again, so as a few more points can be picked up and avoid the relegation. In view of this, I have decided to take over the training of the team. There will be a training session on Wednesday night, July the 14th at 8.30pm. It is important that everyone attend. Signed, Janel O'Sullivan. Sinu gwe vee, sprid Janel in ishtele vaha. On canada, a chyr cymwyn o'r yn gileir. Be ar brif leid a hynny fe gynir, agos yn clar beog so achrahu i gwyn i gialir. Boech os o chri leg a chene i fyr bartlin yn achrahu. Suinis shiri, danam osel, Janel. Well, 
No. I don't think there's more for me to say because if it comes down to modern day football, you all know about that, so I was only just trying to help you out and uh, say a few words in the past as far as I can remember and relating it to a thing with Father Jackie before we come here and uh, I think that you got a fair build up of had over the years. Thank you very much. Thank you.